What is up guys? It is Saturday morning, 9 a.m. New York City and I have a ton of stuff to do today. But right at the top of my list is I am going to Zara. So what I do when I go to Zara, I tend to go maybe two or three times a year. Um, and I do that because I just like to get everything at once for the season. I don't tend to shop you know, once or twice a month where I pick up one or two things. I just like to get it all at once. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going for the fall. Um, fall is starting in a, in a couple of weeks. And, you know, I want to get some new things to fill out my wardrobe. So that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned and watch what I pick up. It took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take, but I got so much cool stuff and I can't wait to show you. All right, let's get started. First of all, before, before we get started, um, I just wanna talk about Mr. Zara. I don't know, I forget what his real name is, but let's just call him Mr. Zara. Mr. Zara is in the top 10 richest people in the world. Let me put this into perspective to you. The owner of Zara is richer than the, than the heirs to Walmart. He's richer than the co-founders of Google. He's richer than Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. Just put that into perspective of how much money he has and just how successful his businesses have been. There's a reason why everyone talks about Zara. It's because they love everything about it. Sorry, I have gum in my mouth. <laughs> Zara is the number one fashion retailer in the world. Adidas, who? Nike, who? H&M, Hermes, Dior, Givenchy, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all of those, like, they mean nothing, okay? <laughs> Zara is number one. That just shows you how people respond to this brand and just how much people are spending all across the world. Zara opened, I think, in 1975 in Spain, and it has just completely taken over. And honestly, going there today, I see why. I, know, I see why they're so successful. So let's take a look at what I got. So this is my Zara haul for the day. So in total, I spent $329. Um, 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 there is no tax on clothing, apparently. So it's just $329 for the clothes. So that's about, I mean, I guess that's about what I would spend when I would go in to get stuff for the season. So, so the first thing I got, and let me just start off by saying that the stuff I get at Zara tends to be very, shall I say basic? I like basic essential stuff from Zara. I'm not gonna go there and buy big logo t-shirts or big patterns or big prints or anything that's just a little bit too loud. It's not that I don't like those clothes, but those clothes, if I want a big print or a big pattern or a big logo, I tend to go for maybe a higher, price point and maybe a better brand. I don't really want to wear a t-shirt with a logo or a print that, you know, 50,000 people are wearing on the streets of New York. I like to just keep it basic at Zara, which honestly, the basic stuff at Zara is so good that I have no problem just doing it that way. So the first thing I got, um, this is the definition of basic. It is a gray hooded sweatshirt. So I needed a hooded sweatshirt. I didn't know I needed it until I saw it, but that's the way it usually happens. So I got a gray hooded sweatshirt, 40 bucks. Um, this is a large, uh, I tend to usually be extra large at Zara because I'm, I'm six foot, you know, 190, 195 pounds right now. So I tend to get, have to get extra larges, but I think the hooded sweatshirts are a little bit oversized. So I got a large and that fit me perfectly. But yeah, super comfortable, perfect for fall and winter. And I needed a gray hooded sweatshirt, so you can't beat it for 40 bucks. So the next thing I got, again, and this is what Zara is perfect for, is these basic kind of color tees. They're, they're 18, 20 bucks, I don't even know. Extra large. I get these probably every year, if not every two years, um, different colors. Sometimes I have to rebuy the same colors because you know, after a year or two of wearing them and washing them, they tend to wear out and lose their shape. You know, for the price, you just go back and buy a new ones. So this is just a simple round neck cotton t-shirt. 
it's kind of this tealy kind of green, which is great. Neutral, basic, same thing. Uh, maroon kind of red, round neck, uh, cotton shirt. Uh, again, this is extra large. I like extra large, 20 bucks. This kind of stuff is perfect. Um, I know I'm buying for fall, but this kind of stuff goes underneath of jackets and sweaters and that type of thing. So I tend to buy this exact style. I'll tend to get maybe two or three colors just because I like the, the fit and the shape so much. So I got the teal, I got a red, and I also got a dark blue. It kind of, it probably looks black, but it's actually not black. It is a dark sort of navy blue, again, round neck shirt, 20 bucks, extra large. And I will put this underneath of a bunch of different things. I have, I already have white versions of this, black versions of this, so I, basically just went and bought some colors that I didn't have because again, in terms of the, the fit, the fabric, you know, it's good quality. It's not like perfect quality, but it's good quality for what it is. Um, and they will last a year or two uh, with no problem. So next up. So this is just a black round neck cotton shirt with, uh, it's got this red flannel front pocket that they've distressed in some way. So I actually really like this red and black flannel i would never buy a shirt that was made completely out of this fabric but when they use it as like a little accent on the front i think it's really neat um and it's really good for fall um this is gonna look great with just a pair of jeans so yeah 20 this was 25 bucks 26 bucks extra large next up and this is really this is like the definition of zara to me this type of shirt so this is a, just a simple cotton shirt but what Zara does so well is that they'll mix the textures um, and the fabrics to make this sort of across the chest pattern. And this is the type of shirt that like, you see it on the rack and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool, let me try that on. And then literally the second you pull it over your head, you know right away that you're, that you're getting the shirt. Like, I know it's gonna fit me well, I know I'm gonna like the way I look in it. And this is exactly what this shirt did. As soon as I pulled it over my head, I knew that this was um, definitely going in my bag. Again, 20, this was 30 bucks, but still, I mean, all this stuff is just so cheap for the quality that you get, the design that you get. Um, this is an extra large, fit me really nicely. In the chest and the shoulders, I do find sometimes that with Zara clothing, the arms are a little bit tight. And so if something's too tight, I just won't get it in the arms. But if it's a little bit, you know, a little tight, um, I can take it to a tailor and they can just kind of cut the sleeve a little bit on the inside just to give me a little bit more room. This one I didn't really have a problem with, so I shouldn't have to do anything with that one. Again, I told you I get basics, I get essentials at Zara. And this is the definition of basics. This is the definition of essentials at Zara. This is just a plain gray cotton shirt, extra large, 26 bucks. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it does have a little bit of a, of a pattern woven into the fabric. They're just like these very fine horizontal kind of stripes. But yeah, it looks really, looks really nice on, again, it's very basic. So again, with a pair of jeans, or khakis you know this gray looks great with a whole lot of combinations and i didn't have just a nice gray shirt like this in this style so i had to get it you will notice before i go on you will notice that i didn't get any pants i didn't get shorts because number one is fall and i'm not gonna buy shorts right now i'll wait until the spring for that but i also didn't buy any jeans or pants that are i tend to have some problems with the jeans that Zara because everything is either skinny fit or slim fit and they just do not fit me. I don't want the skin tight. I don't like the look of the skin tight, you know, men's jean. And so it's either skin tight or it's slim fit. And I just don't like the way those look on me. So I tend to like just more regular straight cut jeans and they don't, they don't really have anything like that at Zara. They might have one or two styles and it, they just kind of look ugly and I don't like the wash on them. So I didn't buy any, any pants or any jeans um, in this shopping trip. But what I did get was a denim jacket. Now I used to have a denim jacket. At some point it got lost or stolen or someone borrowed it and never returned it. But so yeah, this is just a light blue denim jacket. It's got buttoned cuffs and button enclosures on the front 
Uh, this is actually pretty plain that you could probably take this somewhere and get custom like embroidery or something if you wanted to customize it a little bit or do patches or some sort of embellishment on it. I will not be doing any of that because that's not really my style, but you could definitely do that on something like this because it is so basic and plain. I love it. I love the color because I don't really have jeans that are this color. And one of the rules, I don't, I don't like using rules in fashion, but one of the guidelines for jean jackets is that you don't want to match the fabric to the jean color, the same, you don't want to wear the same wash jean as the jacket. Otherwise you're going to be wearing a, what they like to call a Canadian tuxedo. Uh, so yeah, I bought this because I don't really have jeans that are this color. So I will be able to mix this with the jeans and it's going to look great, uh, especially in the fall. And again, this is where those couple of uh, cotton t-shirts that I bought where I said I'd wear underneath things, this is the type of thing that you wear that stuff under. Next up, again, it's, it's another jacket. I don't wanna really call this a jacket because it's more like a heavy shirt, but it does have like a sort of thicker zipper in the front. So I'm gonna use it as kind of a, a light jacket for the fall, but it's this mustard patterned uh, plaid. And in it, it's got Blue, black, red, white, gray, literally every basic color you would have in terms of t-shirts that you'll have in your wardrobe, you will have in your drawer and you can wear underneath of this um, zippered shirt and it's gonna look amazing. So as soon as I saw this, I knew right away, I saw the colors. I said, there's, there's probably 10 things I could wear with this with a pair of jeans. It's gonna be perfect for fall, so I had to get it. Last up, I had to replace a pair of white Sneakers, um, this is a basic for everyone's wardrobe. You need to have a pair of just plain white sneakers. So this is not leather. This is clearly some kind of synthetic plastic that they, you know, it looks like leather, but it's definitely not leather. It's perforated, so they did the perforated details on the front. These were cheap, 50 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. These, this type of shoe you can wear, again, with jeans, with shorts, with khakis, with dress pants, like this type of basic white. Um, it's not a luxury sneaker, but it, it kind of looks like one when you're wearing it. Um, you can wear with so many things. So I would definitely recommend if you don't have a pair of just plain white sneakers, go out and get a pair. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and share it with a friend. Also, leave me a comment down below. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel where I post lifestyle and advice videos all designed to boost your happiness and your well-being. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.